I'm going to be looking for three different ones from anyone who wants to know. I'm going to try, or should I say, I'm just going to attempt to make a poem out of the blues. So, any words? It's any words? I'm walking down the streets, out of the blues, I take a short glance on my left just to see somebody walking down with the head held low. I don't think they get to realize exactly how I'm staring at them with a face full of concern that they're in a despondent situation. I could easily have understood exactly how they feel, how they're walking. Probably I've been through the same situation, but if I got the guts to go and approach and exactly ask what's going on. Maybe it's just the despondency that I have, that they have, that makes everything get to go apart. Because as you know, opposites just do not attract. It's just the way it is. This despondency thing I just had from someone out of the blues and just standing on stage just trying to make sense of it all. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but really, to anyone who's feeling the despondency that I've got to feel at a point in time in life, everything's going to be cool, so that's the one of despondency. <laughs> When I was 18, I was in a bed. When I was 18, I was young, naive, not knowing exactly what life had to do to me to get to open my eyes. A certain preacher came to me and said, son, you have a gift. Why don't you use it in a certain way to please the people that will really get to appreciate it? I was in a rock band at that particular point in time. Not anything that was running to my mind. I was completely oblivious to the fact that literally taking lines of cocaine before it showed. They say and they call it rock and roll, but it's all about sex, money, and rock and roll. Should I say sex, rock and money, and rock and roll, anything of that nature? But somebody just gave me a dare, so I'm just trying to make things out of my mind. <laughs> sex, money, and rock and roll, it's all about the music, it's all about the fun, but who knows exactly where it's all going to end up? Because things go wrong and it's all in the name of fun. And I like to call it sex, money, and rock and roll. <laughs> I grew up in Africa, 16 years of my life, walking in the banks of the Zambezi, on the cruise with my mother, that I got to the point of being told off so much which just being too happy. I just seen an alligator as a young kid, I just wanted to touch it, at least what it can do to me. It's an alligator in America or in any other place, but I like to call it a crocodile. That's exactly what it is, exactly how I understand it. It's dangerous, so be careful. So many people in life live a life that we all do not know. They look hideous on the outside, but they're truly kind on the inside. They're not like an alligator, it's just plain old vicious, but I was so young, I didn't know what it exactly did. So I decided to take a step closer, see if I can run this back, see what happens. To my surprise, I got a whack at the back of the head, like crazy. So they say, spare the rod and spoil the child. If my mama had let me go ahead and just stroke the back of that alligator just to see if he can walk in her shoes, <laughs> I was going to be gone. I like to call it the alligator shoe. <laughs>